Hi guys, my name is Antoinette Lenard and welcome or welcome back to my channel. I live in a, a very warm state. You know what? It's not warm. It's hot. <laughs> I live in a very hot climate and we've had multiple heat advisories and I thought, oh my gosh, let's talk about summer fresh fragrances. Those perfumes that you can wear in the high heat. Um, I'm just going to read the notes and tell you a little bit about where I might wear these and then we're just going to move on. Okay, let's get into the video. We're starting off with Skin by the Perfume Clean Reserve. This perfume is so nostalgic for me. I absolutely love Clean Reserve and it tells you the family right on the bottle. It's a floral musk, but this is like a scent that wears very close to the skin. Mm, Y'all know I love to spray the um, perfumes, but I'm not going to spray all of them today, girl. But I'm going to just read the notes for you guys. So this says, Top notes are bergamot, orange blossom, honeysuckle. The middle notes are warm skin accord, vanilla orchid, uh, sun-kissed peony, and the dry down you get salted praline, fresh musks, and white cedar wood. I just absolutely love this perfume. It's really good. Like when you get out of the shower, this is a good perfume that you can spray all over your body. It's going to dry very, like it says, close to the skin. They describe this as um, smelling like a warm embrace. And that's exactly what happens. It's not going to be a beast mode projecting type of fragrance. Like it's not going to be a crazy sillage. However, when someone embraces you or hugs you, they are going to smell this on you as far as the longevity i can't remember how long um but i do know i do know that when i spray it at night like after the shower and i moisturize my body and then i spray this perfume i know i do smell it when i wake up in the morning this is definitely one for those for the living in the clean aesthetic all right <laughs> let's move on to the next fragrance I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this perfume in particular, honey, but we already know this is Light Blue by Dolce & Gabbana. They have for him and for her. This is the EDT made for her. Bear with me too, guys. My little one-year-old niece broke my camera, and so I'm... <laughs> I'm using a different camera and I'm not really familiar with it. It's a lot more high tech than mine. <laughs> so if it's a, the video is a little off today, I'm so sorry. I'm not really familiar with the ins and outs of this camera. Okay. I like this perfume, but it's honestly not my favorite. I know this is heavily, heavily loved across the fragrance community and everyone talks about the green apple note, like in the beginning of this fragrance. In my personal opinion, but it's for him, for her, it just leans very unisex to me. Succulent notes of crisp Granny Smith apples and zesty Sicilian lemon. Fragrant bouquet of jasmine in full bloom and pure white rose encounters the fresh and aromatic scent of bamboo wood. Cedar wood base intertwines with warm hints of amber white moss. This is one I would definitely say is great for high heat. I think we got into like the hundreds at one point. I'm going to be outside. You could pretty much wear this all summer long. Not my favorite, but it doesn't mean I don't like it. Okay, let's move on to the next perfume. Continuing on with Summer Fresh. The Dolce & Gabbana light blue perfume that I do love, oh my gosh, and that I am obsessed with is, ah, yes, it's Dolce & Gabbana light blue sun. I absolutely love this. I got to spray this one, y'all. Look at the atomizer. Ugh. Mmm. So this one also has Granny Smith Apple. It has similar notes as the original. Uh, Granny Smith Apple, Lemon Essence, Ozonic Accord, Coconut Water, Jasmine White Rose, Frangipani uh, Frangi Flower, Cedarwood Essence, Amber Notes, White Musks, and Bourbon Vanilla. It says it's soft, it's fresh, it's sweet, aromatic, and coconut nectar. I think it's the coconut note that really speaks to me. I love coconut fragrances. 
it smells how it looks it's this golden juice this golden heart where it's a very simple bottle this smells like sunshine like you go to your drapes or your curtains or your blinds you open it for the first time in the morning and the sunshine comes through and it's like I can see clearly now the rain is gone <laughs> Mm. very safe to wear in high heat okay this is very summer fresh summer zest let's move on to our next fragrance I went ahead and pulled out this one since we're looking at yellow uplifting golden fragrances this one is going to be Dolce by Dolce and Gabbana and the scent name is shine now this is a very nice springtime um, summer perfume this has mango and grapefruit and jasmine so it is in the fruity floral family oh my gosh y'all my neighbor let's go ahead and spray it this is such a pretty springy summery perfume y'all the mango you can smell it in here mm, and the jasmine oh i really smell the jasmine in this perfume this this makes me feel happy the bottle makes me feel happy the perfume this one smells a little a little sweeter to me if you are looking for a perfume that's summer friendly high heat friendly this one does um, smell a little bit sweeter and floral um, so just keep that in mind it's not gonna be clammy type of sweet okay it's a summer sweet <laughs> let's move on to our next perfume guys let's talk about my absolute number one just my favorite perfume in this entire video today if you don't give any fragrance in this video your time of day i highly highly recommend mediterranean honeysuckle by erin and this is going to be my scent of the day this perfume is so pretty this is giving vacation but elevated vacation i'm on the amalfi coast I'm in Bora Bora, like I, I'm strolling along the waters of the Mediterranean. This is aquatic and citrus, but the honeysuckle adds just the right balance of sweet to like balance out the fresher notes. This perfume is all you need for summer. It wears so nice in the hot weather it's not offensive and yes i've received compliments in wearing this perfume i don't really hear a lot of people talk about this but it is just so incredibly like beautiful now she is pricey honey it's 145 dollars for this 1.7 ounce and then the 3.4 ounce is 200 dollars I say it's pricey um, because also she just doesn't last long. Longevity is not there for this perfume that you're going to be paying $145 for this little bottle. <laughs> Ugh. I just, I give it a pass. Mm. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, let me read all the notes to Mediterranean Honeysuckle. It's a floral citrus. The notes are honeysuckle, grapefruit, bergamot, mandarin, lily of the valley, gardenia, jasmine, sandback, absolute. The blue Mediterranean. Ugh. Let's move on to the next Summer Fresh. So I thought I would pull out this one next. Giorgio Armani, and this is um, Ocean Di Gioia. This is classified as a fruity floral. The notes are sparkling pear, water jasmine, and sandalwood. So it says that Armani celebrates the 10 year anniversary of Aqua di Gioia with a dazzling interpretation of the most vital element, the ocean. It has pear in it, but in my opinion, when I first smelled it, it was super fresh 
and like it says they're celebrating the ocean so it gave that like aquatic watery fresh outdoor air <laughs> type of vibe fragrances sometimes have to macerate when i first got this perfume on the paper you definitely immediately smell that beautiful sweet fruity pear but on my skin when i sprayed this it was a lot fresher i highly recommend this as well for summer with the jasmine you can smell all three of those notes in this perfume so keep that in mind when you are considering this one Definitely. the next perfume we are going to talk about is going to be chanel chance and this is the afrosh or fresh <laughs> this is classified as fresh citrus and fruits and then the notes are citron, jasmine, and teak wood. It says a fresh sparkling floral expression of chance, a surge of energy that sweeps you into a whirlwind of happiness and fantasy. Oh, does it do that? Let me see. This was my perfume of the summer, last summer. Mm, oh my goodness, yes, I have... Y'all, I keep saying that something is nostalgic, but ugh, I just love, yeah, I get more of the citrus in this. It's not super floral in my opinion. It smells very fresh and very citrusy. It just gives me like casual vibes. I read some reviews and someone was like, this smells so expensive in the best way, etc., etc." But this is a perfume that if I'm wearing like a white tank top, blue jeans, and a pair of sandals, I'm going to drench myself in this and go out and about for the day. I live in a city that has like an outdoor mall. I would throw her on and go walking around the outdoor mall. So very summer, fresh, friendly. Mm. You guys know we normally have coffee. I'm back on my fitness and so we are drinking kombucha. It's early in the morning when I'm recording this video and the first thing on my stomach is going to be this kombucha, honey. Then we're gonna um a little pre-workout snack, workout, and then we'll have some coffee later when we actually eat our full breakfast post-workout. <laughs> All right, let's get back into the video. We have just a few more fragrances to go and then we're gonna wrap it up and get out of here. I want to talk about Versace Dylan Blue. I don't necessarily hear a lot of people talk about this perfume, but it is absolutely gorgeous. Look at that, even the bottle is beautiful. Please don't mind my bottle, girl. I'm gonna go ahead and spray this one on me. Look at that, the atomizer is so nice on this. Okay, get a little alcohol, Got it. it needs to dry down a little bit. So this is classified as a fruity floral. It has notes of, key notes of black currant, wild blooms, and musk. Dillian Blue is a beautiful fragrance. The life of this fragrance for me is in the dry down. I can't stop smelling myself once it dries down. It says that um, it has refreshing black currant sorbet with Granny Smith apple and a contemporary floral bouquet, woody base notes playfully mixed together to create a unique, captivating, sensuous, and vibrant movement. All oh, that black currant and then you start getting like the, the sorbet. If you guys have ever had sorbet or sherbet, like like airy, soft mm, sorbet. And then, uh, and then you start getting the Granny Smith apple. You know, Granny Smith apples are more tart than sweet. So you get like the, the black currant sorbet mixed with the tartness of the green apple and then like the flowers to balance out the sweet, fruity tartiness. Uh, it's just so nice, guys. I love it. It is definitely summer fresh friendly, and I highly recommend that you guys test this out. If you're trying to get into fresh 
fresher fragrances um even though this isn't classified as fresh per se but if you're trying to get into fresh fragrances i highly recommend that you give this a try right, guys the next summer fresh hot weather friendly fragrance we're going to talk about is flora botanica by balenciaga this is a very green fragrance it's classified as a floral green fragrance the top note is mint middle notes are rose carnation and cannabis and then the base notes are vetiver and amber y'all know normally i do not smell perfumes from the bottle i just go ahead and spray them all up i'm not gonna spray this one right now but what i will say about flora botanica is that i do not believe it is blind by worthy by any means i am not telling you to blind by this i've heard it kind of be like a hit or miss some people really love it some people hate it some are like eh. i get like a lot of floral from this perfume and i also definitely get the green it's literally how it's described it's as if i um, okay, there's it where I live. We have a museum, but um, if you walk out of the museum, you can walk onto the garden. It gives me that vibe. Like I'm walking out onto the lawn of the botanical garden and I am smelling greenery and fresh flowers with a bit of like mint to like freshen it up and like that mint definitely like like livens up the fragrance and like refreshes you <laughs> that's the best way that i can explain this i love this bottle i think it's so cute in the heat she's gonna stand the test of time summer fresh hot high heat weather friendly honey all right y'all those who get it get it those who don't hopefully you join us this is vacation made by the brand vacation <laughs> the vacation sunscreen company the fragrance notes are top notes pedigrain essence coconut water coconut milk y'all know i was already in love heart notes are bergamot solar musk banana and pineapple <laughs> and then the base notes for this perfume pool water swimsuit liquor and sea salt mm, y'all know i love salt in a perfume the main detail that i can tell you about this perfume is exactly what the company rep represents is sunscreen this perfume smells like sunscreen if you are the person who has always loved the scent or the smell of sunscreen other people didn't get it other people are like ew i hate the smell of sunscreen but then you know you have like that cult following of people who just love that sunscreen smell scent oh my gosh y'all we have it. We never hated the smell of sunscreen, but I never, I also never knew that I would love it so much as a perfume. It's sunscreen, but obviously it does have some fruit added in there because it has like banana and pineapple in it. Fruit takes a back seat and the sunscreen and the coconut are like the stars of the show in this perfume. I'm absolutely in love. I'm obsessed. This bottle retails for $60 at Ulta. It's a super tiny bottle it's only this is like only one like fluid ounce of juice in here okay the bottle is super cute too like it's simple but it's super cute i love i love little simple bottles like this they look so cute if you have a certain aesthetic this right here is summer 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 if i don't say anything else this is summer in a bottle i'm going to show you just how obsessed i am with this scent and with this brand. <laughs> I smell the perfume. Girl, I had to get the spray. This is um, a whip sunscreen. It sprays out exactly like 
Peach Whipped Cream. This is the sunscreen lotion. We have the Chardonnay Oil SPF 30, honey. This gives me the vibes of, remember when the girls used to put on oil on their skin and then they would go out in the sun because that would help them to tan? Look, y'all, you don't have to do that anymore. You could just put this one on instead and you're gonna be able to tan but also have your skin protected, something that the oils didn't do. <laughs> okay, let's move on to our last and final fragrance, y'all. The last and final fragrance I wanna talk about today is going to be Salt by Ellis Brooklyn. And the notes for this is Ylang Ylang, Ta uh, Tahitian Tear, and Ambergris. The description says, capturing the essence of salty skin, the creamy heat of the sun, and a whiff of tropical florals, salt is complex and soul healing and sensual. So salt is on the list of clean at Sephora. It is exactly how Ellis Brooklyn dis describes it. It's salty, it's creamy, it has a bit of floral added in there. Mm. This is not blind by worthy, okay? I get a lot of the salt in this. I, it's like beachy, it's airy. Um, if you want to get into fresh fragrances, I love this perfume, but it, as it says, has like some creaminess added to it. So it can be absolutely gorgeous for some, or it could be off-putting for others. I've gotten a compliment on this from one of my cousins, and then I know someone else who smelled this, and they went in the total other direction, okay? Get it to Sephora, smell this, and then let me know your thoughts. Thank you so much for taking some time to um, spend a little time with me today to talk about these summer fresh, high heat friendly fragrances. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you have any questions and let us know in the comments section some of your perfumes that you like to wear in high heat temperatures, okay? High heat weather, hot climates. Let us know. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.